You've probably heard your teachers tell you at some point that you can't divide by zero. Have you ever wondered why that is? Did you know there are different levels of infinity? In fact, there are infinite levels of infinity. Okay, why is every number raised to the power of zero equal to one? Here's one way graphs can lie to you. Misleading axes. I am such a math nerd underneath all of this, but it's all just, they all just blend together and that's who kind of is. Oh my God, drag or math? I guess I, I really live a, a double life, like literally Hannah Montana right now, like kind of doing both of them at the same time. Here's a quick song to remember the quadratic formula. It's such a rolling in the deep, it's very nerdy, I know, but you kind of just have to get into it. Negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over. To a. Okay, the reaction to my TikToks has been crazy. People say um, I'm better than their math teacher. People say um, I'm the reason they are getting into math and that they... I, there are people who are saying that they just hated math their entire lives until they came across my page, which is just the absolute best thing to hear because I love math and I want other people to love it as much as I do. I love to um, just spread the love for math and the passion for education and the enthusiasm for it because math is marketed to people as something that's so boring and lifeless and I just think it's really elegant and beautiful. Okay, what does F of X mean? So I want you to think of F as any other appliance in your kitchen. An oven heats things up, a blender blends things, and F does something to a number. So imagine a conveyor belt where X goes in and F does something to X, and F of X is what we call the thing that comes out. I was already sort of like, just this makeup gay wearing makeup all the time anyway, but I, I felt that wearing a wig and a gown was too much for me. Um, but after I watched Drag Race and saw these queens um, just really showcasing it as an art form, that's when I sort of saw the beauty of it and the the fun of it. I saw my first drag show when I was in university in my first year and that's what totally made me think, oh my god, I have to do this too. Canada's Drag Race was lots of fun and I feel if it can help me to um, spread this message of doing math and having fun and being artistic, then um, all in all, it's a positive experience. I never want anyone to think that they have to do one thing to be successful. Do what makes you happy and do what inspires you. And sometimes that's multiple things. And sometimes you just have to try a bunch of things and see um, what sticks. You don't have to just choose one thing if you want to be successful in life. <laughs>